What's up, Nintendo Gamers? Takeda here with another Star Fox Zero update. So we finally have a release date for Star Fox Zero. That will be November 20th, 2015 for both the USA and also Europe. We also have confirmation that Star Fox Zero will be compatible with Amiibo in some form and fashion, but we don't have details on that as of yet. Also, there is a updated box art, and I know a lot of people favor this one than the kind of pre-E3 one that we've seen at E3, uh, just a placeholder. So this definitely looks better, but for Star Fox Zero, that is all the news, so let's get into my thoughts real quick about the release date and Amiibo functionality. So first thing first, Amiibo functionality with Star Fox Zero. I think we will see some original Amiibos just for the game, maybe, but how that would work, I don't know. Maybe unlock different missions or just little, you know, tiny things. I think Miyamoto said specifically that he didn't want anything significant to be unlocked by Amiibos in Star Fox Zero, so it could be just a few trivial things that don't make really a difference in the gameplay or the game itself. Um, but one thing I do like about Amiibos is that a lot of the novelty for them is, yes, they do some pretty cool things with the game, but also I think the best thing with them is that they are little collectible, you know, little figurines that you can collect. Uh, that's the biggest novelty about them for me, because any other time you really wouldn't see a lot of these Nintendo characters in a figurine state. Um, Amiibos is the closest thing you're going to get to, you know, that having your favorite Nintendo character as like a little decoration piece on your, you know, wherever you game, you know, your game station or, um, you know, your setup or anything like that. So that's what I like. I would definitely buy it if it's like an R-Wing or just Fox, you know, Falco, Peppy, Slippy, just as Amiibos. That would be cool, even if they don't really do much in the game. And I think that would be the best thing for these Amiibos because people have raised complaints about Amiibos um, locking too many, you know, key features or things that aren't considered, um, depending on the person, not trivial, but very important to the game. Um, you know, there was a lot of complaints about Splatoon's, you know, Amiibo functionality, locking content as far as missions and costumes, and I actually understood that one. A lot of the Amiibo stuff that unlocks game content has really been trivial, in my opinion, but anyway, I do think that there will be possibly some Amiibo uh, functionality as far as them ha this game having its own original amiibos i do think there will be some cross amiibo functionality with the smash brother amiibos of fox and falco i do think also with in regards of smash brothers i do think near the time that you know this game is supposed to launch they're going to release some more dlc for smash probably like a veteran character like wolf maybe we'll see like another Star Fox character, I would really love to see Slippy or or Peppy. One of them should be in the game I, I and, you know, play completely different from Fox. I do think this is the perfect, that would be the perfect advertisement for both the game and Smash Brothers and launching DLC based on, you know, Star Fox Zero. So we'll, we'll definitely see. The box art, again, I like it better than the little, you know, just a placeholder box art that they had at E3. Um, that box art was pretty good, but this one looks cool. I like that it showcased the whole team and everything. Um, it, it has a really adventurous feel to it, and I really like box art. Like, I, I just, I like box art a lot, so I think it's it, it looks really cool in this regard, and I'm glad that they changed it, because some people did have a complaint with Fox Fur and um, apparently a lot of people say a lot of the complaints they had with Fox, you know, as far as his model, his, what he looks like has been fixed with this. So, yeah, but I'm excited for Star Fox Zero's coming out November 20th. That is sooner than expected, but, you know, that's right at the end of the year, pretty much. And, you know, I can't wait to see more of the game. We still haven't seen more 
um, other than what we've seen at E3. So hopefully it looks better. Um, they've taken a lot of feedback from what people have said and you know integrated that into the gameplay more. And we'll just see. So that's my thoughts on Star Fox Zero as of now. If you guys have any comments or anything, please just list them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Star Fox Zero updates. And I'll have more updates on Star Fox Zero as more things are revealed. Thank you guys so much for watching.